The whole situation is putting pressure on Public Safety Minister Mike Farnworth, who has yet to make a decision on whether Surrey will keep the RCMP or continue transitioning to a municipal police force. This is not some exercise about, oh, um, here's our plan, uh, rubber stamp it and check off a few boxes. Farnworth says he needs more time. But Surrey's Mayor Brenda Locke shocked the city's taxpayers with news her city's budget would include a 9.5% increase because of the cost of transitioning back to the RCMP. It is because of the stalling of the transition. It is because of all of those issues uh, that have been happening over the last four years that have been cost overruns. That's in addition to an 8% increase to account for inflation, more police, firefighters and bylaw officers and road improvements, meaning Surrey taxpayers could see their costs go up by 17.5%. But given the numbers could change, this political expert wonders why Locke is highlighting them now. I really don't know anymore. I, I think a lot of people, a lot of residents and voters in Surrey are going to be confused as well and quite possibly uh, the minister is going to be confused. Meanwhile, Surrey Police Service Chief Norm Lipinski is calling for an independent audit of the city's numbers. In a statement, he says, we are becoming increasingly concerned by the city of Surrey's financial numbers that seem to be inflated and mischaracterized simply to call the viability of Surrey Police Service into question. He says Surrey residents don't know who to believe. Locke says she's seeking legal advice after Lipinski's comments. It's an incredible statement by a chief of police. And I guess my comment is how dare he. We have 20 professionals working on this in the city of Surrey. How dare Chief Lipinski question their integrity of their work? But if the aim is in fact to put pressure on the province to make a decision fast, well, the BC Liberals are joining in. When will he finally make a decision on the future of policing in Surrey? But Farnworth says he only received the information he needed last Thursday. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.